I spent years in the trenches, generating leads, closing high ticket clients and working with teams of SDRs, perfecting my cold outreach and sales strategies. And with artificial intelligence improving day after day, professional SDRs have been using AI more and more to automate brain dead tasks and get a bunch more sales. So much so that AI is now replacing 80% of human SDRs work, letting you focus on closing deals instead of completing tedious tasks. And after deep diving into the world of AI powered SDRs, I've put together this comprehensive series to save you days of research. Today, I'll walk you through Artisan, one of the top AI SDR tools on the market, showing exactly how it can revolutionize your sales process, automating lead gen and outreach, and filling your pipeline with sales calls. Let's jump in right into the dashboard, where all the magic happens. In the dashboard, you'll see the most important metrics. You'll be able to view analytics, monitor mailbox health to see if there are any issues, and also see the lead response rate. The chat with Ava. This is where you're going to spend most of your time. Here your onboarding starts. Ava should already have your profile picture and name set up. Ava will also have some information about your business, so you'll just need to confirm it if it's correct. Next, you'll feed Ava information about your business, product and much more by answering Ava's questions. Once the AI SDR has enough information, it will start asking you questions in order to make your first campaign. Questions regarding your ideal client's profile, like who you're targeting, what country, company size, role, etc. It will also help you set up the product details like pain points you're solving and proof like case studies. This chat is where you'll manage Ava and everything on the platform. Here you can ask Ava to start any task, report some analytics or anything else. If you head over to the campaign that Ava has created for you, you'll see a couple of things. First, you'll see all the leads Ava is reaching out to. You can also add your own leads, select countries, job titles, sectors, employee numbers, employee count, keywords, and you can also update the do not contact list by blacklisting email domains. The leads you're reaching out to are scraped from a list of 400 million leads from various lead data providers. In the pitch, you'll see the exact information about what you're selling, basically your product information. It features pain points it solves and proof points. You also have an option to link your website, so Ava could scrape it anytime and get a better understanding of your product. In the campaign outreach tab, you'll be able to choose the signature and language, tone of voice, and add a booking link. After that, you can choose what Artisan calls playbooks. This is a method, or I should say style, of how Ava will be doing outreach. It can use a classic sales pitch where it starts off with a compliment, relates to your prospect, and then sells. Ava can also use customer's approach by first asking questions about the prospect's product, then turning it around and selling your own product, or you can let Ava try to mimic a human by being imperfect, like all of us are. You also have an option to turn Ava on or off autopilot, meaning that it will either send all emails by itself, if it's on autopilot, or will wait for you to review each email before sending, if the autopilot is off. If you choose the second option, you can find all emails that are waiting to be approved in the pending approval tab. There you can ask Ava to rewrite the emails, edit the emails yourself, or approve them by clicking schedule. Then Ava will automatically put the email to the queue. In the mailboxes tab, you'll see all the mailboxes you connected. I highly suggest creating mailboxes with secondary domains, not with your main domain, just to not ruin its reputation. If you want to create mailboxes in minutes without any domain DNS record setup, take a peep at MailForge or InfraForge. You'll also see the daily email capacity of each mailbox. This is how many emails AI SDR will send with that mailbox per day and slowly increases over three weeks. You'll also see the mailbox status. If you're missing DNS records like DMARC, DKM, SPF or else, it will alert you. If that's the case, you'll also see a lower mailbox health, which is also altered by your domain reputation, spam reports and warm up. Also, you can select whether or not you'd like to use a certain mailbox for outreach. Inbox is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you'll be able to view all of the conversations between Ava and your prospects. This includes all of your mailboxes, so you do not need to check one by one. You can see the people that Ava has reached out to, sent and pending emails. 
You can respond to emails yourself, search and find any email sent by name, company or email, and few other settings. You can also integrate other apps into Ava, using Slack to talk directly with Ava or add HubSpot or Salesforce to export all or engaged leads, or import leads from your CRM so Ava does not reach out to them. Lead CRM is where you can see all of your leads, see which ones were contacted by Ava, see all the information script about the lead, their website, LinkedIn profile, email. You can also add notes or even take a look at the emails that were sent to this exact lead. In analytics, you'll see all details. Lead response rate the past 30 days, total email capacity, that's the amount of emails that Ava can send per day, emails in queue, meaning emails that are waiting to be sent out. You'll also see the top performing campaigns, your overall mailbox health, and top performing playbooks, the styles of the cold outreach. And in the settings, you can edit your email signature across all of your mailboxes or invite team members to join your workspace. By following this walkthrough, you should be able to replace 80% of the work done by your SDRs automatically filling up your pipeline with booked sales calls. But the truth is that this is only the first step of the process. Once this is done, you need to master the art of selling so you could actually close people in the sales calls. So if you click right here, you'll learn my three-step framework that has helped me earn thousands of dollars by conducting successful sales calls.